Hi, this is Imran from itradeaims.com. How to create your own template. Now, this template has, if you press F8, it has slate gray background, and the rest of the settings are like this. My grid is of this color, but you don't need this. Foreground is black, bars black, bars black. Bull candle is dark green, bear candle is red. Line graph, you don't need that. Volume, you don't need that. Ask line is this color. You might want to change this. The stop levels is red. If you click on common, I have the chart on foreground. This is important. Uh, we have chart shift, obviously. And these options are like this. So we click OK. Now the first thing I would like you to add to your template is the AIMS levels indicator. That level, that indicator has to be on the bottom because if you were to put alligator or AIMS indicator or entry alert first and then AIMS levels then you won't see the lines or the dots. It kind of goes on top of it so it has to be the first thing. So I'm just going to go on to my custom indicators. Yep, that's the correct one black here. I'm just going to change that to gray. Now this is the color that shows on my screen. Common tab, visualization, everything is the same. Click OK and we have AIMS levels. Now what we need to do is to put the alligator. For that you can click on insert, indicators, Bill Williams and alligator. can change the thickness of the lines to number two level and the rest is all default. Alligator jaws is 13, shift 8, teeth period 8, shift 5, like lips period 5, shift 3. It's always a smooth moving average with a median price. And you click OK and we have the lovely alligator. Now we're almost complete. Now what we need to do is, depending on which entry alert you want to use, whether you want just the ding dong with a popping alert, then you'll use the entry alert V1. Otherwise, you'll go for entry AIMS entry alert V2 hyphen sound alert. I'm just going to drag and drop. And we have it here. We put the sound to true. Colors are this. You can change the colors to whatever you like. Click OK and we have the dot alerts and now in order to be able to have this what you need to do is to go to templates uh, I normally do it from the menu bar up there but I'll do it on right clicking now so we just go to template save template and give it a name Test free trading template one, and that's it. It's saved now. Every t you can apply this to new charts, and that's it. Thank you for watching.